hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is joshua if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video today we are going to design a birthday flyer for social media banner post so before any further ado let's get started the first thing go to your file then you select new then i'm going to use four by four inches then you select it then make sure that your resolution is 300 then you click on great so this is our design area now so now these are the tests i'm going to use so here ctrl c to copy the color code then go to your solid color ctrl plus v to paste then i'm going to select a polygon tool then put 6 for the number then I'm going to change the color to white hold your shift key while you drag it for perfect polygon then you scale it out all right so increase it a little bit then click ok now duplicate it ctrl plus j then duplicate this one again using your ctrl plus j Now I'm going to duplicate this street all together. So I'll be a little bit fast here. So we are done here so i'm going to select this three then use your arrow key to move it front then select this one also make sure you hold your shift key while you select them convert it to smart object then i will position it somewhere around here then reduce it a little bit then click ok then you can use your arrow to position it where you want it to be then hold your control key while you click on that layer now i'm going to apply a layer mask on this one so you can see the outcome of it then I'll turn this one off. I don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to bring this one behind the image. Scale it. Okay. Now go to your blending mode and select pin. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle over here. Then I'm going to choose this color. Then apply a layer mask and blend it. All right. Then you can increase it a little. Now I'm going to duplicate this one or you drag it over right here. Then I'll take it up. 
now select it and bring it down now apply a layer mask while you blend it okay then apply stroke now i'm going to make the number five so you can change it to any of your choice so you can see this place so i'm going to select the image then select the layer mask then turn the color to white then use your brush to close it then also over here then you save it so this is the outcome of it and i'm going to group it Now I'm going to import this one, then reduce the size, then go to your test and copy your test. Then change your fonts to Roboto. Then I'm going to make it blackboard. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you drag it over here while you reduce the font size okay then go back to your test and copy ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one The control plus V to paste. Then drag it to the center here. Then I'll reduce the font size. Then control plus J to duplicate this one. Bring it down over here. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Double click to alight it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select your test tool and alight this word. And I'm going to apply superscript. Now increase the font a little. Then 
then I'm going to copy this one then you drag it down double click to highlight it then control V to paste then change the color to yellow then I'm going to apply a drop shadow then use this setting then click ok then you duplicate this one double click to highlight it then come over to your text and copy it now go to your font and change the font i'm going to leave the, leave the font in the description below and you scale it out So okay like this now go and select your rectangle then draw a rectangle over here and I'm going to make use of this color then create a round shape corner then reduce the opacity then ctrl plus it to copy your test select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then change the color to white now change the font to Roboto then make it mid medium then open the character I mean the space Then open the space then place it over here then I'm going to increase the opacity Now I'm going to reduce it to 4 then you click OK now I'm going to draw a rectangle line around it then remove the fill color then apply a stroke then increase the size of the stroke so you can see then apply vertical and the horizontal alignment ctrl plus d to the select then convert it to smart object
I'm going to apply a layer mask. Select your brush. I'm going to do something like this. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe then and share. Thank you so much for watching.